In the last video, we created a loop that keeps blinking and then we said we are going to improve on this to create a guessing game. Alright, let's continue. Now, to create a guessing game, we need to make sure that when we click on our, when we press the space bar, uh, we want the game to start. So, how do we do that? So, we come here and say, when space is clicked, we want it to broadcast. Broadcast, say, five yeah now broadcast is a way of sending information from one sprite to another so when one sprite sends a broadcast like this another sprite would receive so let me show you how that is being done so when we send a broadcast like this for example five we need to create another sprite that would receive this so let's create five or oh, no let's choose five We're going to choose five and then what do we want five to do well when we receive when i receive five when i receive five i want it to go to the center that's the first thing i want five to do to go to the center and what is the center the center is actually when x is zero and um, y is zero so that's the center Another thing I want to do is, whenever I click on my flag, I want my 5 to disappear. So, I'll come here and then come to loops and then to tell the 5 to disappear when I click the flag to hide. So now, when I receive the 5 from here, by pressing space bar, I want my 5 to show. So I come here and say, show. And now, I want it to wait for one second and then i wanted to go back to the invisible mode you understand so now this code is when i receive five now this is a when i press space bar i am going to broadcast five so this sprite would receive that broadcast and then execute all of this so when i click flag now our five disappears but our blinking effect continues you understand so I need to press my space bar to receive 5. Now let me press my space bar now according to this. You see? So when I press space bar, I receive the 5 and then it goes off. So now this 5 also would have to send um, another broadcast. It's an event. So send. We'll send a broadcast and we can call the broadcast 4 and then click on OK. Remember, when we send a broadcast, another sprite must receive it. So, I'm going to receive the sprite right here. Using 4. I hope you understand. But now, in order for me to not to repeat code, we're repeating, we're doing the same thing. So, all I need to do is just to drag it right here and put it inside. You have to be careful. Yes. Inside. It must have a shaking effect. Shaking. Uh -huh. To show that it's already inside. Alright, so we want the same thing to happen to 5. But in this case now, it's going to be when I receive 4. And then I must broadcast what? If I don't broadcast another thing, let's see what happens to the 4. So now, you see, it's waiting for me to press my space bar. And I'm going to press my space bar right now. When I press the space bar, it goes 5, 4. And then it stops. It keeps blinking. The reason is because I did not, I was sending a broadcast that, okay, I'm broadcasting four and then it's receiving it again and then it's repeating the same thing. So we're going to broadcast new. This time around, we're going to broadcast three and then press OK. Well, now we need to create more sprites because we wanted to count down from five to one. So we need to create more sprites. How am I going to do that? I'll just say three, I'll bring more sprites see what two and then one more sprite one and then we want to start so now for three we want to put all this same okay it's already inside just drag down all the same value let's do that for two also for two also, let's drag down the same value for two, two, 
because it's simply the same step. And I'm for one. Oops. Let's go to two and then drag all of this code right there. So drag for one also. Make sure there's a shaking effect. Oops. All right. Let's take it slowly now. All right. There's a shaking effect. So I have to write down the code for one. All right. For the one, okay. I'm going to do when I receive. When I receive one. All right. Let's start with, um, sorry. Let's start with three. Three says, when I receive three broadcasts, so. Okay. All right. So, two will say, when I receive two broadcasts, one. And then the last one would say what? When I receive one. What do I want to do? I want to show. I want to show. And then um, wait. And then hide. That's what I want to do. And then hide. That's it. And then I, I want it to go off whenever we click our flag. So see, when, when flag is clicked, I want it to go to hide in place. All right, so in this case now, I have created two backdrops, which is blue sky two and blue sky. I want it to be that well after the countdown. I want it to be that after the countdown in one. I want it to broadcast the next um, backdrop. So how do I do that? I just come to events and I say broadcast. Now this time around, what am I broadcasting? I'm going to broadcast blue sorry you cannot write down in all caps are blue sky 2 and then press ok now when I broadcast blue, blue sky 2 I go back to the backdrop I select the one I want to oh sorry blue sky 1 sorry about that it's a mistake this is the one I want to broadcast so I come to this and then I say when I receive when I receive this time around blue sky 2, what should happen? I want to show. Alright, so come right there. You switch. I want to switch to blue sky. Alright. So remember, let's go back to the first code, which is now whenever we click on the flag, we want it to be that our our backdrop is always on the blue sky too whenever we click on the flag so this is it so with all of this i've been able to do something really fun so now let's click i hope i'm not too fast if i'm too fast just pause the video so you see everything went off and now when i click when i press my space bar this 10 seconds is too much let's put it to five all right stop again and then five repeat five is okay now Press spacebar to start. It's blinking now. So when I press my spacebar, it's going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then it starts. But now there's a problem with our 1. Our 1 is not actually positioning to the center. Maybe probably because we didn't ask it to do, to, do that. So we say go to, and then you said 0, 0. All right? So now, it's going to go to the center. But I noticed something that after doing everything, it didn't go off. It's because I didn't hide it. So I need to come back to looks and then make sure that the last thing is what for it to go off. All right. Now let's run it again one more time and then see what happens. All right. So it's blinking. It's blinking now. It's blinking. So when I press my space, five, four, three, two, one, and then takes us to the next. So now, in the next one, that's where we're going to do the guessing game. I, I hope you understand this video. Please pause the video if I'm too fast. Um, and then um, you could actually send your question as a comment on the, under this video. I'll be glad to respond. Please subscribe, like, and comment. See you in the next video whereby we launch deeper into drawing, uh, doing this guessing game more.
All right. Bye.